footsteps you know and and uh he was uh, he's a hall of famer wwe is one of the you saw it on there I, I that was really good by the way greg thanks for the treat uh but you know I've, I've always wanted to follow my dad's footsteps it was always my dream and uh i've always been in love with this business so i did and uh but now, if you have followed Million Dollar Man since he's retired, you might know that he's a minister and evangelist. And so now this is where he stands, you know, at the front of churches. So now I'm in the ring and in front of a church. So, <laughs> uh, taking that for you, Dad, you know, which I am not ashamed of. I'm very That's proud of thing. my father. Uh, yeah, Bobby, everybody please thank this guy. <laughs> Totally, I had no idea what I was coming to today, so this is really special. Uh, but this is about you guys. Uh, it started off that way. It's not about me. And uh, you know, people always ask me the question: You know, were you worried about following your dad's footsteps? Uh, you know, those are questions that I get all the time. Was it is it hard being the son of the million dollar man? Yeah, it, it, a little bit. You know, but I I always like welcomed the challenge, and I was always looking forward to. Uh, that opportunity, but uh, this is kind of my way of, of I, I just wanted to be who I am. You know, my dad was amazing at what he did, but uh, I want to get to know you guys. This is what I do when I go home, you know, like, I'm just a redneck from Mississippi that likes to hunt fish and play golf, you know, and, and I love hanging out with my friends. I always have my buddies over, and uh, we're always barbecuing, and I, I cook, my wife gets so mad at me because I cook so much food, you know, I have this huge spread, and, uh, me and my buddy were talking one day. I was like, "Man, what you know? What am I gonna do? Like uh, different?" He's like, "Why don't you have like?" I was like, "Maybe I should have some parties. Throw some parties after the shows." He's like, "No, you need to tailgate before the shows." I was like, "That's a genius." <laughs> yeah, you know? I was like, "That's a great idea." And then, man, I have had so much fun uh, getting to know you guys because I travel all over the world. You guys know that I travel everywhere, and so it's like. In each, each city, each state, I'm getting to know people, you know, the, the WWE universe, the fans on a more personal level. And, and then we stay in touch through Twitter and, and there's like with social media, there's so much. It, it's just really cool for me. I think, uh, you know, as superstars, we owe you guys 
for the the awesome time that I have in the ring. I love being in that ring, and uh, it would not be enjoyable if it weren't for you. So this is just a token of my appreciation to give back to you guys. If if you want to take a picture or an autograph, we'll do it. If you want to hear some stories, I'd love to talk to you, you know. But I just want to hang out with you guys, and that's what the DBIC Posse is all about, you know. I'm just like. Just, this is his party. We're going to see what happens.